All right, we're here with Phil at Masterpiece Arms in just outside of Atlanta. Correct, yes. So what's the Masterpiece Arms story? Well, Masterpiece Arms was uh, started back in the late 90s. Recently had an opportunity to meet with Phil Cashin at Masterpiece Arms just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. This is a preview of an interview with Phil along with the factory tour from that visit. Hope you enjoyed these previews. Stay tuned for the full videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Uh, SWD and RPB Industries and... Um, and a few of the other people that had manufactured Max. And when um, SWD went under, the majority of the manufacturing that we do here. And then the little pistols you've got, you're making those here as well? Yeah, yeah. The, the protector, the fully machined upper um, slide and lower receiver, and even the grips on that, because the grips are machined aluminum and you know, all the triggers and hammers and pins and what have you. Don't do the springs in the magazine on that one, but everything else we do in-house. So it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a very enjoyable venture. We, we're coming out with a uh, with a new sporting slash assault rifle uh, that's kind of a hybrid between a Mac and an AR. You know, it'll have a fabricated upper and lower receiver and be chambered in uh, 556. Five, um, a line of suppressors. Uh, we started with the most basic version, which is a 22. We did it in a full auto version, which is a stainless, and then it's just a standard, which is a 7071. Um, K baffle design, and it's evolved now into a 556. Five, uh, 308, 300 blackout, uh, 9 millimeter, 45 ACP version, and all those. We we do uh, machining of components that are typically made out of bar stock and cast and forging and flat stock. It's a good investment because these machines will last, you know, 15 to 20 years if properly maintained, and, and you'll be pulling out quality parts all the time. Absolutely. That's true spec. Yeah, this is a 9 millimeter barrel blank from one of our carbines. That's the guys in the shop signed it? Yeah, Barry, yeah, Barry's, he actually had everybody in the shop sign the uh, cover that has to do with manufacturing the product. <laughs> cool. And our, our shop is a TS16949 ISO 9000 oh, okay. shop. Okay. Yeah, so we, we pay a company a lot of money to come in yeah, here and that verify means a lot. that yep. we have a, a functioning, very specific quality system that kind of controls how we run this business. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is a Swiss turn CNC lathe. It's a nine-axis machine. It does turning and milling, and it's got a main spindle and sub spindle. But it, you know, but again, being able to do it in-house is uh, is a big plus. Exactly. This is, this is how the receivers will come. This is how they start. A whole different series of welding operations. Uh, well, I think what he's doing right now is welding the side plate on. And so this is where you know, a lot of the assembly takes place on the adjustable front side, which we introduced last year, and that's the adjustable rear side. You know, these are just some of the, you know some of our weapons. We also manufacture these weapons for another firearms manufacturer. This is how it'll be shipped, just like that right there. Okay. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.